Well, Clarets Burnley fan reaction. Burnley won, Plymouth Argyle nil. Um, wasn't the most entertaining match. Probably, probably an upgrade on uh, on Saturday's game, but overall not the most entertaining. Um, but we won. We got all three points. We got a clean sheet, and we won. So I suppose overall that's the main thing. Um, but we wanted to see an improvement from Saturday, and we got that. Um, certainly in the first half, anyway. I think if we played like we had in the first half, in that second half, um, we get another two goals at least. Um, but that that seems to be what's missing at the moment. It seems to be that clinical striker that we're looking for. I mean, the first half we created a lot of chances. Um, and we just couldn't put them away. Um, I don't want to single players out. You know, I feel like I have done for the last couple of couple of fan reactions. So I don't want to single players out. But we need another striker. Um, we need more of an attacking threat in the box. We've got the attacking threat to get to the box, but we need someone in there in the box to attack the ball. Um, and I think we've all sort of said how we need to learn how to break teams down. Um, we've said about how many teams we've played over the last few weeks who sit back and just defend against us, trying to catch us on the counter. Um, and today Plymouth were a lot more open, as we sort of expected, and yet we could only get the one goal against them. Um, obviously, thanks to Brownhill's penalty as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's that that concerns me at the moment. Um, that striker that we're missing. Um, like I say, I don't want to single anyone out, but Foster for me isn't good enough for this league, or he's not good enough for him to be our main striker. Um, I I don't really feel like he's got much competition. Obviously. J Rod is the competition, um, and the other option seems to be Hatunji, even though he's been being played on the wing when he's been coming on. Um, so yeah, that that's obviously the area we need to focus on strengthening. Um, and I'd be interested to see, obviously, if if Fleming can be that, you know, that main striker, or will we keep playing him? Will we play him in the ten when he is fit and ready? Um. But yeah, like I say, that, that's my main concern. We need a striker. We're lacking that attacking threat to actually put the ball in the back of the net. We did well today, like I say, in the first half, um, creating those chances, but we just really, really struggled to convert them. Um, and then the second half was just so strange because it... I honestly thought at half time if we played like like we had in the first half, we had it in the bag. It wouldn't be nervy. You know, we we'd be able to do it. Um, and I don't know what happened at half time because that second half just seemed to be a complete switch. Um, and I mean all all credit to Plymouth. You know, they they came with a game plan. Um. And they nearly executed it well. I thought they played well. Um, again, they're a team that, just like Oxford were at the weekend, were expecting to be down the bottom of the table towards the end of the season. Um, but I think they've they're a lot better team than a lot of people give them credit for. Um, and I thought that they played very well tonight. Um, but yeah, it, it it's just those chances that we're not putting away. Um. And like I say, the second half was just almost like a carbon copy of the Oxford game. All right, we had a bit more space. We had a few more chances. But it just, we just didn't seem to be as attacking or have that threat that we had in that first half. Um, so whatever happened at half time, that's, you know, we, we need to look at that as well, uh, obviously, for the weekend. Um, but yeah, like I say, it was, it was a game of two halves. Um, there wasn't anyone who stood out today to be absolutely fantastic. I think Steve 
obviously played well as he always does. Um, I think it gets a bit boring just saying that Steve's your man of the match every week, but he he was fantastic like he always is. He did have a few stray passes, but you're never going to be a ten out of ten every every game. Um, Brownell, I thought did well in midfield. I thought Hannibal was very lively. Um, Coley Osho, I thought was brilliant. He ran his socks off for the seventy minutes he was on the pitch. Um, Perez, I thought he did well going forward. I thought I think him and Anthony work really well down that left hand side. I think they've got a good connection, and I think they work brilliantly down that left hand side, especially going forward. Uh, defensively, maybe he's not the finished product, but I think he will get there. Um, but that left hand side's definitely our stronger side for attacking. We just need someone in the box who can put the ball away. Um, but yeah, I just it's weird because we've won the game. We've come away with three points. We've got a clean sheet. And, yeah, I feel a little bit deflated with the performance. I think, you know, when we're time-wasting at the end of the game, when there's seven minutes to go, eight minutes to go, it, it just felt a little bit unnecessary. You know, it it's a long season and obviously the target, we all know, is to get promotion. And we know that you want to see out wins. And fair enough if we've got two, three minutes left holding the ball in the corner. But when there's so much time left and we know what can happen with regards to goal difference, like that that can be the difference between staying up, going down, playoffs, you know, champ, winning the championship, getting automatic promotion, like... Every goal so, sort of does matter. And to be holding the ball in the corner when you've got about less, just less than 10 minutes to go, it just doesn't sit right with me. But I, that might just be me being old-fashioned. You want to go for every goal that you can, but it just doesn't sit right for me. Um, and I did get that horrible feeling in your stomach that you do get when they go down the other end after you've tried to hold on to the lead and... They get a last minute corner, but no, I think there's definitely room for improvement. Um, I think you can see signs of the squad gelling together. Um, it's still very early days in the season. Obviously, it's a big, big week. I think questions might have been asked if we didn't get all three points tonight. So obviously, you know, we're, we're probably quite fortunate in that respect. Um. But yeah, I think I think as well. Like I haven't touched on it yet, but the penalty. I think personally, I think we're fortunate. I do obviously there is contact there. Um, it 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 looks excessive, but different angles show different things. I do think we were quite fortunate for the penalty, to get the penalty. Um, but I think Brownell obviously took it away brilliantly. I think it was a really well taken penalty. And on the balance of play, we probably did deserve to win it. Um, but like I say, it, it, it wasn't the emphatic win we were sort of all expecting and all, all sort of hoping for. Um, but yeah, there's obviously signs of improvement. Um, the squad seems to be getting together, getting that gelling together. We just need a click day. Um, we just need a click game where everything just goes right. And I, I do hope that that is Saturday. Um, but yeah, just one last thing before before we end. I just want to touch on the atmosphere because it felt flat tonight. Um, I don't know if it's because obviously it's a night match. Um, obviously, there were a lot of empty seats. Like I say, I don't know if it's because it was a night match or if this is just where we are as a club now. Like Because of who we were playing, is that you know affecting the atmosphere? I think it was just really flat tonight um, and, you know, we all sort of took the mick last year when Pace was talking about the drum. Um, you know, a lot of things were said about that, a lot of comments said about certain comments that were made in, in the second series of Mission to Burnley. But, yeah, it just felt flat and, I mean, the atmosphere that we had against them lot on Derby Day... Um, you know, the atmosphere that we can have at the turf, we can make it one of the best atmospheres in football. 
um you know we 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 can um but we need to do something about that um because tonight it was flat it was flat against Portsmouth at times um you know it, it was flat against Cardiff at times it's it might just be me, like I say, because I am very passionate and I do like to sing every song and I do clap along to every song and I shout as much as I can. But yeah, the the atmosphere just felt flat tonight. Um, like I say, I don't know if it was where I was sat, but I think we can do with up in the atmosphere. Um, but yeah, that's that's just my personal opinion. Um, I just feel like it was flat tonight. But yeah, uh, Derby Day again on Saturday. Um, half 12 kickoff, Preston North End. Let's make this one the click day. Let's get the three points. Let's make it an emphatic victory. You know, let's let's make it an enjoyable one. Saturday, early kickoff against them lot. Let's go get three points. Up the Clarets.